guys, this is John at JD Customs. I just want to make a quick video to show you how to install the GTR exhaust guards. These are made of a high quality thick vinyl that will withstand the exhaust heat and they're available in carbon fiber, glossy finish. I've also got flat black or gloss black. They all install the same way. What you'll need to install these is a regular heat gun or hair dryer will work. Uh, you'll need some rubbing alcohol and also in their microfiber or some, some cool shop towels like these. Um, so I'll show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is clean off the back of the bumper. You're gonna to need to get off any wax, um, any dirt or debris or anything that's left on it. Just use either a microfiber or a really soft uh, towel. And I recommend using some rubbing alcohol. This is gonna make sure that you have a really clean surface with no wax or anything. So the vinyl will stick on there and it'll last a long time. All right, so the next step you're gonna take is to peel down the back of it like this and then make a fold in it. So you only have a certain amount of it showing. This will allow you to be able to line it up at the top without having the whole thing just stick on it. So once you get the top part lined up as close as you wanna get it, that is pretty much gonna make sure the rest of the whole thing is lined up. So just get the top part lined up there, then it will just make a little crease at the top, then you're going to pull it up, and you pull this down. Uh, at this point, if you need to, if there's any bubbles, you can use the hair dryer or the heat gun you have, but it's just really a matter of slowly putting it down. You can use your thumb, or you can um, use a, some type of maybe a squeegee, but you don't want anything that will scratch the vinyl. So, just do it like this. If you need to use the heat gun, you can turn it on low setting. Don't want to melt it, that's for sure. So this stuff takes the heat very well. Just heat it up a little bit at a time, and then just continue to push out the air bubbles and the wrinkles, and if you if you do run across an air bubble or something, um, you can always pull it back up and then push it back down. Um, this vinyl is very pliable, so it's, it's really easy to make sure you get all of the bubbles and creases out of it for a really clean and smooth finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of this off, let it hang down, and heat it up a little bit so it's a little more pliable. And then I'm just gonna push the rest down on there and that'll be it. Okay, so depending on how much you actually stretch the vinyl down whenever you installed it, you may need to use an X-Acto knife to trim off just a hair at the bottom, but you want to leave enough for it to wrap down underneath here, because you don't want to see the edge of it and you don't want it sticking out. So you can use an X-Acto knife just to cut a really thin line if there's any vinyl left at the bottom. And then use the heat gun and your fingers to just bend it up underneath there. And that would be it. So this is what it looks like when it's completely installed and finished. The other side is obviously the same way, just repeat the same steps. If you do have any little bubbles in there like that, then those will eventually come out with the heat and the sun. And this is uh, pretty much it. Um, like and share the video and message me or give me a call if you have any questions. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.